It's 845 this morning and the civilian military combine is back and they want you. Yes, you can still register for this amazing race and rent and Jen, you're there already ready to go, aren't you? Yeah, and so in this segment, we're going to talk a little bit about what we're doing. First of all, you said it. You can still sign up. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. Hi, okay, so um, first of all, talk to me about what is happening here tomorrow morning. Sure. So CMC America's Race is the world's fastest growing community of hybrid athletes. We combine obstacle course racing with our very first revolutionary challenge, the pit. It's the opportunity to bring civilians, first responders, and military together and unite through fitness. And what's really cool briefly is that there are going to be some men and women that are going to um, go into military service and they're going to take their pledge of duty. Is that maybe what we call it? They're going to sure. commit here? Yeah. So we're really fortunate tomorrow that we're actually going to have locals from Philadelphia that actually be going to be taking the oath to commit themselves to the military and being the future heroes of our country. Awesome. Okay, so we have a very special guy here. A very special guy here. Good morning to you guys. Okay, you don't have to work out anymore. Hi, buddy. Right. Thank you for your service. Get it somewhere and stop. Thank you. Okay, so we've talked about this. We have a big Salute the Troops uh, military day that we do in, later in September. We're going to focus on you in a little bit. But you're here because this is helping you get back get back everything that you lost oh, yeah. when you were a wounded warrior certainly yep this is uh this is an awesome program and uh fitness sorry i'm a little out of breath I now, know, uh, I know, I know. You know i'm gonna go to dan dan yes. we, we've met you a thousand times yes, yes, and by yes. met you i mean i've crushed you on all kinds of obstacles absolutely this type of thing not only helps people like me civilians right it helps people that have have been injured warriors who have been injured kind of like find themselves after they have been they've given so much absolutely well you know especially the cmc because we look forward to events like this because we train for this. It gives us something to look forward to. Um, these, these obstacles are four plus some miles along with the pit. So we have something to look forward to, something to train for. So you run around, then you do the hijinks, then you keep running around. Absolutely. I mean, there's so much to do. I mean, you got the pit, you got the, 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 the working out, and then you have to do the obstacle course. And it's just, there's so much to do here. It's crazy. All right, so Brendan, I know this. So you are going to do basically the strength stuff, right? Yeah, I'm going to be in the pit uh, six times tomorrow, Eric, six times tomorrow. And, That's uh, insane. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's got to get done. Somebody's yeah. got to do it. But so it's, it's actually not that bad compared to what I did while I was in the military. So the yeah. work that I used to do is nothing compared to this. And so you want your fellow men, women, military, civilian to come out and join you and just be a part of, of as yep. you said, it's a big community, right? It, it is a huge community, and it's a supportive community, and especially for wounded veterans where they kind of feel like they, they're losing that support channel when they're getting out of the Army because of amputations or other disabilities. It, it's a good group to kind of get back in there. And it, and it kind of, you know, we all start off with PT anyways when we start off with basic training or boot camp and everything. It kind of brings it back that back to that mentality. Dude, so. you totally explained it so well. <laughs> um, and you are working in North Jersey with lots of these athletes and veterans trying to make sure that they're healing their body and their mind at the same time. Yeah, uh, my, my wife works for the charity and uh, want to support my wife. Happy, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> and uh, I was a police officer. I left and I opened up a CrossFit gym. And now uh, we decided to put together a team of athletes like Brendan um, that have recovered using fitness and now motivate other veterans who are in the middle of their recovery to, to jump into that community. It's not just the working out, it's the community that supports them. Yeah, it's really cool. And that's cool. what we're trying to do. All right, so we've gotten all the business out of the way. Now we have to get to the business. First of all, people can come and do this tomorrow. They can still try out or exactly. uh, sign up. Sure, you can sign up at cmcrace.com or please just come and there's registration tomorrow. And we'll have the Travis Mannion Foundation here also with their 5K race. But we're really looking to bring the community together. So athletes, spectators, let's all come together and support these guys. And at the 9 o'clock hour, thank you for your service. You're going down. I just sound You're awesome. going I down. Like I'm okay, you know how this works. Dan and I like to compete. Uh oh, and trash clearly, talking. You run marathons? Marathons, triathlons, adventure <laughs> races, you name it. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever with this. I run around a bar and get wine but, but for she, my girlfriend. She, she already told me she has turf toe, so. I do have turf toe. Oh. No <laughs> I'm excuses. Injured. No but, excuses. But we're gonna we go believe in you, Jen. Obstacles. We believe in you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, Jen. Now we're gonna take it over to Quincy, and he's live at the pumpkin patch. Quincy, are you still wearing that straw hat? <laughs>